Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. So in today's video, I am bringing to you a buy it or pass it. Now this type of video was originally created by Samantha March. She has her Will I Buy It series that she does every Wednesday. I will have her channel listed down below if you guys wanna check her out. She also has a community playlist. That way if this is a style of video that you guys do enjoy, you definitely can check out other creators as well. So, without further ado, <laughs> I have a lot of things saved that I kinda wanna talk about. Um, now I don't mean to, but I am going to be looking at my phone. So if I'm looking down a lot, that's why. Um, so yeah, let's go ahead and get started. So one of the things I want to talk about, it's not really like new news, but is the new Huda Beauty Obsessions mini palettes. She's coming out with three different pastel palettes. Um, so one is rose, then you have lilac, and then you have mint. Now they do look really, really pretty. I'm not really sure how I feel about pastels. I know some people love them, some people hate them. They just kind of look ashy on my eyes. So this is not something I'm going to be interested in. I do really enjoy her Obsession palettes. I think they are an amazing price. I think they are great to try her brand. If maybe you're interested in some of her bigger shadows, um, but can't afford, you know, that $65 price tag, definitely check out some of the Obsession palettes because like I said, they are my favorite and I do have quite a few. So these are the ones that I have. I have the Sapphire Obsessions palette. This one, oh, it caught my eye so hard. Um, I haven't played in it yet, <laughs> but I need to. Isn't that gorgeous? Oh, the quality of these are just so good. We have the Mauve Obsessions, which was one of my first ones. Very, very pretty. Definitely kind of like an everyday palette if you like mauves. Um, and then she has the Smoky Obsessions which is that one right there. Great for a night out. Then we have this one I received in, I think, Ipsy, but I haven't, yeah, I've played in it. Okay, <laughs> this is the Ruby Obsessions palette. All right, the Huda Beauty Neon palette. Neons, I can definitely go for. They're bright and beautiful. And then I have her Medium Nude Palette. I haven't played in this one yet. I really, really want to, you guys. I just, I have a lot of stuff that I've been trying to use. <laughs> um, but, ugh, isn't that gorgeous? That is so freaking gorgeous. Um, from the ones I have been able to use, I definitely recommend them. So if this is definitely something, uh, as far as the color story goes, um, you can check them out. I, I think the quality would be amazing. However, if the price tag is still too big, I do know that ColourPop has pastel palettes as well. I think they did it several months ago. Um, you can check those out. I will have a picture of them right here for you guys. And um, those are a little bit better of a price tag. I love ColourPop eyeshadows. They never fail me. They are some really, really good eyeshadows for very cheap. So you have a little bit of a different level there. So I saw that this was just announced and I, I just don't understand sometimes when a big brand such as Benefit or Tarte or Too Faced or whatever it is, whoever it is, if they're a big brand on that level, why they decide to do something like this. Okay, so they just revealed their... Um, Hello Happy Velvet Powder Foundation, and there are only 12 shades. I get that maybe they don't wanna do a complete full line, okay, because they do have a different foundations, but 12 shades is still very, very small. There's no, the shade range on it is poor. It is so poor. Um, why even do it? <laughs> Honestly, I mean, why even do it? Nobody is really comparing when it comes to such as Fenty Beauty. I mean, Rihanna set the bar for every brand. She comes out with shades, boom, she's got one for everybody. She comes out with concealers, boom, she's got one for everybody. Do you not understand that these brands should have been doing this all along? Like, you're seriously missing out on money when you make 12 shades or even, you know, 15 shades and you don't have a, a broad spectrum. It's just sad. And I will not be purchasing it. <sighs> I don't know. I just kind of wanted to say my piece on that. And we're going to go ahead and move on. VH Cosmetics is coming out with two palettes. Color Vivacy, inspired by the Italian summer. A mix of colorful mattes, shimmers, and warm tones. And then you have the Romantic Nomad 
which is supposed to be a mix of cool tones and some warm tones, mattes, and shimmers. I don't know why, but this just kind of feels blah. <laughs> it really does. Um, I don't I haven't really seen anything from BH Cosmetics that has caught my eye, uh, except for when they came out with their festival palette. That one, oof. The colors in there were so beautiful. The packaging was incredible. And this just kind of seems, eh, it seems okay. Um, so they are 16 shades per palette, $12 each. I mean, BH Cosmetics has some really nice shadows. They're a good price, kind of like ColourPop. They don't come out with as much as ColourPop. Looking at the swatches, I would say that the more colorful one definitely looks looks a lot more fun. It looks like you could do an, an everyday look with it with some pops of color. Uh, the second one is definitely a little bit more of the cool tones. Um, cool tones aren't really my thing, but if it's yours and you might enjoy it, but I think I'm going to go ahead and pass on both of these. Now I did mention Fenty Beauty earlier, so I'm really excited to announce that they are coming out with a new Cheeks Out collection. So they're gonna be coming out with creamy, sheer, buildable shades of blush and bronzers. I'm sorry, but Fenty Beauty is killing it when it comes to complexion products. It looks like the blushes are in the same packaging as like her highlighters, kilowatt highlighters, um, and then maybe the same octagon shape for her bronzers, um, maybe just a little bit bigger. It doesn't give me a date or a price, um, but I'm actually really, really excited for this. From the looks of it, there's a lot of really pretty shades in here, and I can't wait to see what the full line looks like. Now, Sephora is coming out with a couple new Sephora Favorites kits. I'm really, really excited for these because one of the things I do enjoy about for Sephora is their Sephora Favorites kits. It's a great way to test out some products at a really good price. I know they have their lip kits um, that they come out with every so often. You get to try different lip glosses and lipsticks. And then in the box actually carries like one to two full size lipsticks. That's really nice. They have a Sephora favorites like mascara set. You get to try out like four or five different mascaras. And then you actually get to turn in um, a little coupon at the end that sh gives you a full size of your favorite from that box. So I really enjoy that. I think it's a great way to test out some mascaras. Um, so they're coming out with, like I said, four new ones. Uh, so the first one, it looks like it's the... Um, the Icon Selection. This has the Fenty Beauty Highlighter, the Tarte Lights Camera Lashes, bl uh, Mascara. You have a Huda Beauty Lipstick, which is oh, one of my favorites. Uh, you have an Anastasia, Anastasia Beverly Hills Brow Wiz and a Charlotte Tilbury uh, Lipstick. I think this would be a really nice kit for somebody. Um, I have most of the stuff in here, so it would not be a good kit for me, but I still think it's a great one. Uh, they have these super ingredients. So this one has the Shiseido uh, GG Hydrating Rich Cream. Um, oh, I can't even pronounce what that yellow one is. <laughs> the Origin Checks and Balances uh, Face Wash. There looks like a Sephora Mask. Youth to the People Toner. Um, Origins Ginseng. I think that's like a moisturizer, isn't it? And then they have another uh, re mask from Recharge. Just a lot of different facial items in here. Uh, the next one is the Summer Essentials. Now this one I'm actually interested in getting. Uh, first of all, you have a Marc Jacobs lip gloss. Love Marc Jacobs lip glosses. You have the Hula Bronzer, um, the Sol de, de Janeiro uh, Bum Bum Cream. Oh, that is my favorite. <laughs> Looks like the Belief Aqua Bomb. Um, Something from Becca, I can't quite see what that is. Looks like a hair product from Ritual. You have the Size Up uh, Sephora Mascara and a uh, OPI um, nail polish. Looks like there's something else quite in the bag, but back, I can't see exactly what it is. It looks like it says it's a coffee scrub. Um, but this is really exciting. This is, has a lot of good products in here. So this is something that would definitely be on my list. Um, and then the last one they have, I can't really see the name of it because they kind of cut it out. Let's see. The, they cut out the name of the last one. Oh my gosh. Okay, so they have something from Milk Makeup. It looks like a Sephora mask, Mari Badescu, Invisibobble. Um, can't really see what the other ones are. This one doesn't really look as, as exciting as the other ones. Um, the other three, I would definitely say those are good, but I don't really recognize anything from this one. So I wouldn't even uh, be able to recommend it because it's nothing that I've 
I've used or tried or even heard of before except for the Invisibubble Mario Badescu and the Milk. I don't know anything about those other products. Now if you are like, like me and you love makeup sponges this one definitely caught my eye and I don't know if it's the colors or what but they look so cute. Colourpop is coming out with a new like sponge set um, and it, like I said, it's definitely caught my eyes. I love the cute colors, the packaging on here, the different shapes of the sponges. This is something I, I really want to pick up. Um, so the different names of the sponges, you have the velvet, the detail, the hourglass, uh, the complexion, and the silicone. So that's really, really exciting. Here is a picture of them right here, uh, of what they look like up close. Now, the, the whole entire kit goes for $20 or they're $7 a piece. I said go ahead and buy the whole kit. I mean, the beauty blenders alone, one goes for $20. Why not even get a full set of five for $20? I think that is a great deal. And I'm actually really excited about this because I enjoy sponges. They, they um, I don't know, I use them more than I do brushes when it comes to face products. So super, super excited for that one. All right, and last but not least, we have Tarte is coming out with a new collection. Uh, this includes the Jelly Glaze Anytime Lip Mask for $14. Um, it's supposed to be hydrating and smoothing vegan lip mask with a sheer flattering tint. Interesting. They're coming out with the Seal and Protect Mineral Sunscreen Powder Broad Spectrum SPF of 30. Uh, it is a translucent mineral powder, smells like vanilla. They are coming out with Breezy Cream Bronzers for $29. Uh, the Velvety Creamy Formula applies easily as a cream and dries down to a natural looking matte finish in three different shades. Um, looking at these swatches right here, oh, this is not going to be for me, honey. <laughs> um, it looks extremely orange. I don't know how it would be for the two darker skin tones, but that, that seashells or say whatever it is the one for the lighter skin tone looks straight up orange it could be my eyes it could be the lighting on my phone i don't know but i wouldn't even <laughs> i would not go for that that is just not my cup of tea let's see they're gonna have a breezy blender cream bronzer brush for 29 dollars uh, and then the Surfer Curl volum Volumizing Mascara for $23. It's supposed to be natural nourishing volume and curl that conditions lashes sweat proof. Um, I would be interested in maybe trying either the, the Jelly Glaze for the lips or the mascara. Forget everything else. <laughs> it doesn't interest me. I'm passing on that. But I wouldn't mind at least testing out in store the Jelly Glaze just to kind of see what the texture is on my hand. Um, and maybe giving the mascara a try, but I don't know. What do you guys think about those three bronzer colors? <laughs> Is it just me or do they really look orange? Like they really look orange, right? Or it's just me, whatever. <laughs> All right, guys, so that is it for this buy it or pass it. I hope you guys did enjoy. What new products do you have on your wish list? Leave a comment down below and let me know, and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye.